and truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. Well, bless God, I sought the Lord and I said, Lord, what do you want to say to your people? Immediately, the word balance came to mind. As I began to ponder on that word balance, I was led over to the book of Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, where the Bible says to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for your word. Thank you that your word, Father, is true. Your word is right. Your word is just. Your word is fair. Your word is living. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. Your word will not return unto you void, but it's going to stay right where it's at until it accomplishes that which you have sent it to do. Father, you said forever your word is settled in heaven, Father, and that nothing should be changed in your word. Father, you said we are to speak your word. We are to post your word, Father God. We are to have your word hidden in our heart as the psalmist said that we might not sin against you, Father. We are to live by your word. We are to honor your word, Father, and God God, we are to speak it out of our mouth. For you said that the death and life are in the tongue, Father God. And so, Father, I speak your word today over the lives of your people. You said we declare a thing, Father, it shall come to pass. If it's according to your purpose, your plan, and your will. So I speak your word in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I pray it go forth in clarity. I pray that, God, you touch the ears of the hearer, that they might be able to hear and comprehend what the spirit of the Lord is saying. So Father, I ask that you lead me by your spirit so that your people would be edified and you, my Lord, would be glorified. So let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, God, let it be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. And so there is a season for everything. Ecclesiastes, the third chapter said, it's a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck, which was planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. And I came today to let someone know you might be in a situation where you have been in a season, it seems, on the other side, the time where there's been a lack, on the other side where there's time that has been, you know, a time of weeping. But God is saying to you today, and I think he's speaking to those people who have been on that side that, you know, they have yet to see the fulfillment of the word of God. They have yet to see what God has spoken over their lives. They have yet to walk through what God has declared over them. And they have been in this season where it has not been, you know, an enjoyable time. But I came to declare to those today that God says the season is changing. You know, he has a balance. He balanced the life. If you look at the lives of the people in the Bible of old, if you look at the life even of Abraham leaving and obeying God. God balanced that thing by blessing him and making him a father of many nations. If you look at the life of the children of Israel enslaved for so many years, God raised up Joshua. God raised up Moses and he balanced that thing and brought them out of Egypt. If you look at the life of, hallelujah, Joseph. Joseph minded his own business. You know, he might should not have uh, shared his dream, but he shared his dream. He was thrown into the pit he was left for dead, but God balanced that thing and he brought him up out of the situation that he was in and let him be second in command. Look at the life of Ruth and Naomi. Ruth, hallelujah, stood by her mother-in-law and went to that land and worked that land and stayed by her mother-in-law. And what did God do? God brought her a Boaz, hallelujah, for those, hallelujah, that might be looking for God to bring some things in your life. 
God will and he can balance your life out to where it's not always a bad time. It's not always a sad time, but there will be joy. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Are you ready for your morning? Look at the lives of David. David was um, anointed to be king, but he had to go through before he got to his kingdom. And when he got to the kingdom that was set up by God, God turned that thing around and he brought, hallelujah, him into a greater situation. Look at the lives of all of those of old who have trusted God, who have believed God. Look at Abigail. Abigail with Nabal, who the Bible declares was a fool. And when he had the opportunity to do something right, the Bible says that he turned David away. He turned his men away. And what happened? God allowed him to perish, but he blessed Abigail and she ended up married to a king. So if you hold on in your bad season, God is saying to you today, he is a God that balances it out and he will bring you into that season of where there is joy. So I want to encourage my brothers and my sisters today. Don't give up. Hallelujah. Continue to hold on to God. If you have yet to see the fulfillment of the promises God has declared over your life, be strong and of a good courage as he told Joshua, only be thou strong and very courageous that thou may observe to do according to all that is written in the law. He told him then you would have good success. Have I not commanded you? Have God not commanded you under the sound of my voice? Hallelujah. To rejoice, to be content in whatever you find yourself in, hallelujah, to never lose hope, hallelujah, but to continue going forward, you know why? Because God is going to turn things around. He is a God of balance, and he wants you to know today, he has absolutely not forgotten about you. So be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. And even if you have to put on that armor of God that you might be able to stand, hallelujah, until your change has come. So know today that God loves you. Know that I love you. I'm praying for you. Meditate on Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, and keep your eyes on Jesus. God bless you. You know, I never want to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. 
I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.